In this clip, we're going to see how to make large tissue paper flowers. For this clip, we need some tissue paper of a bright colour, some tissue paper for the centre of the flower, scissors, straw, felt tip pen and sticky tape. We'll start with a couple of strips of black tissue paper, which I'm going to fold in half. You might notice that my black tissue paper isn't really exactly cut. It doesn't matter that. It won't matter. So I folded two strips of black tissue paper in half. I'm going to fold them in half that way now and in quarters that way. So I've got quite a thickness of black tissue paper. There's the fold at the bottom. I'm going to start at the top and do chops and stops all the way along. Chop and stop, chop, don't forget the stop. Chop and stop, chops and stops. And mind your fingers, please. Chops and stops all the way along. So if we open that out, we should find we've got lots and lots of stamens already. You don't need to open it or separate all of it. What you need to do is to start at one end and curl it round each other and taking little scrunchies as you do it, little pleats, so they don't end up too tight. Let them, allow them to spread out as you do it. Bunch them up and allow them to spread out as you bunch them. So that's a lovely bunch of stamens for the centre. That's loose at the moment, so I'm just going to put a piece of sticky tape round it so they don't spring out again. That should hold it tight. That's going to be the centre. Now, for the outside petals, take some tissue paper of a different colour and fold that, about an A4 size. Fold it in half that way. And then that's going to be where the petals are, so along the top, I'm just going to cut some ups and downs, up and down, back up to the top and down. Nothing complicated. There's a couple of layers to get through there. So it comes out looking a bit like a butterfly. And along the central line there, scrunch it up. We're doing a lot of scrunching with this flower. Scrunching it up, tissue paper goes nice and stiff when it's scrunched and fluff it out as you scrunch it. That's actually a double piece there, so I've got two layers of petals scrunched up and that can scrunch next to that one and then those will go round the black. You can see how pretty it's going to look already. Here's some more that have already been cut along the top. So open them out. There's the ups and down cuts and there's the ups and down cuts. So along the centre, scrunch I'm squeezing it between two lots of fingers and let that fluff out, almost like making a butterfly. And the last one, scrunched up the middle, fluffed out like a butterfly. Now this is where we're going to need a big piece of sticky tape to fasten them all together because we've got to hold those two bits and the black bit and that bit and that bit and this last pink bit. Look at that for a beautiful flower. So when you've got them all scrunched together, I hope you can manage to stay hold with a little stalk at the bottom. I've still got a lump there. That's the bit that needs to have a long piece of sticky tape as tight as you can, round and round and round. When you think you've got it as tight as you can, just check that nothing's sprung out. It doesn't matter if it has, you can just sticky tape it back in again. And then that will go onto your straw and look at it at the centre and make sure everything's attached and fluffed out and that's how to make a larger tissue paper flower.